We are back here to show you guys a little bit of dumbbell exercises. And the reason why we want to share this with you is because it's really important that you start doing muscular fitness type activities with your children or adults. And I started working with Rowan, as I've said before, when he was three years old. Uh, what is so powerful that I saw him is he was able to really learn more body activities, his proprioception increased, um, and it was really important just to start again with dumbbells and some basic activities, basic movements, and even his muscle tone increased, and which then I saw his coordination improve. Um, so when we started again, he was three, three and a half, and I gave him one pound weights. Uh, if you're doing this at home, uh, as a parent or maybe even at a school, um, if you don't feel comfortable teaching dumbbell exercises, then don't, because uh, we want to keep the kids safe, most important, number one. But uh, if you do feel comfortable trying different things, then go ahead. Uh, the, our kids put their bodies in so many different and, and kind of wacky positions, um, they're going to be okay. But we want to start light, light weights, um, and these, like, like I said, are one pound weights, and he's seven now. So um, we're gonna show you three exercises. And as you've seen throughout all of our segments, we're showing using different visual supports. Um, but Ro, what are we doing first? So first, we are doing all the dumbbell exercise. And we are gonna do how many? We are gonna do 15, 10, and 12. All right, so he's found his visual schedule, and how about we start with the dumbbell press on the floor. Can you show them 15? I uh, want to. Go ahead, lay on your back. I need something to give me a tour after this. I will I will get you a tour. All right, a tour, and we need to show, yeah. show me around the school. I will. Well, can you lay on your back? Okay, I will. All right, buddy. All right, so Rowan's seven years old, so I can move him pretty easy. So. All right, ready? So show everyone 15 dumbbell presses. One, two, So you may have to three, prompt your kids. Four, and typically I would be five, here, six, have them touching seven, eight, eight nine, all the way down, 10, five, 11, 12. 12 13, 13, 14, 14, 15. Hey, hey, nice job. Yeah. So if you want to get your so, child do this, we are doing our next exercise. Hey, can you tell everyone what body parts you were using there when you were doing the dumbbell press? Well, you, so I, when you're using, when you're doing dumbbell press on the floor, you should pull your, your muscles up. Uh-huh. Yes. And maybe you have to pull them down and so you can, so everybody to know how to do the dumbbell press on the floor. Great job. All right, so after we do the dumbbell press, mm -hmm. again, using our visual support, it's very, very key when working with children or adults on the spectrum. Then can we flip over and do, what's that say? Yeah, we, so we are going to teach you about the dumbbell row on knees. So you could do this one on, on these two. So we are going to do, uh, we are going to show you with 10. Very good. All right, let's flip over. Come on. And remember, when you're teaching or asking your students or your kids to do exercises, it's really important also to model those exercises. That's the way that they can learn. And if you don't feel comfortable or can't model it yourself, then don't expect your children or adults to. Oh yeah, I'm so. All right, ready? Yeah, yeah. The go first ahead. Let's time go like this. Ready? We do we're not coming. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hey. And now. Wait, wait. What's last? And now the last one we could do standing. You could do this one standing up. Very good. And what's it called? Standing. Up dumbbell press. So you can do dumbbell presses standing up. They're standing on your feet. Too, so it, it's really easy. And, and how many are we doing? We are going to, we're, so everybody, we're going to show you 12. All right, let's do it. Ready? Arms up. Go for it. One, two, 
three, four, five. And you may have to prompt. Six, Touch my hands. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven. Twelve. Hey, give me your hands. Give me your hands. Clap for me. Nice job. So. That was just one example, or actually three examples of dumbbell activities that I really think that you can do with your students, do with your kids, try, and remember, start with lighter weights, and then gradually move towards uh, heavier weights, when you feel comfortable or you see. Um, don't worry about repetitions um, yet, just get them moving. But if you have questions, you can always contact uh, any of us at the Exercise Connection, or anyone at NECPAD, and we can give you the supports that you need in order to work with your children, adults, or your students. So, Ron, you want to tell everyone goodbye? So, if you want to do dumbbell presses, you could do them on your knees, or when you do dumbbell presses, you could switch to these ones because these are, <laughs> we could, these are really heavy. So, <laughs> we will see you next time. Bye. Bye.